the offering. Seven cups, exact. Seven? No more, no less. Well, let's see about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all right. Show me seven cups in my bed. Well, there is eight, and we wanted seven. No more, no less. So what are you going to do about it? We can always just take one cup back, we're even. No, that's not what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. He's playing now. We need help. Uh, there's your offer. Take it. Welcome to the Milky Moment review. We're here today. Don't put that to my I want to write down notes. Not it's quite. like we weren't professionals, but we're not. Well, we got a new place. Well, I mean, also I'm sick, so I'm trying to talk while. Yeah, I'll, I'll do most of the talking. No, that's okay. I can talk. I can kind of hear. But uh, we're actually in a new place. Our old mold infested dorm is now out. We are now in this new apartment, if you can uh, recall from our last review. But other than that, let's get to it. Well, it first started out with, um, you know, them putting the cantaloupes in the truck in the very, okay, in the very <laughs> beginning, you do my thing, when you talk, <clears throat> just giving them, like, trade stuff. Pretty much the kingdom is giving their offering yeah. to the saviors once again. I couldn't get that out of my mouth for some reason. And we were hinted, a conflict arose when the kingdom was one cabbage short which resulted in uh, the young boy getting shot sure. instead of Richard. Yeah, it was Richard's plan. He, in the very beginning, as you saw, that he uh, dug a grave for himself and wrote the sign, bury me here. And uh, he took one of the camels from the truck to distract everybody because of the carts and put it under a crate so nobody would find out. But it all ended up going like in not his way and the kid dying and he regretted it, but he still wanted to fight. So then after the, after the conflict, uh, basically the main leader guy is telling that the offering still stands next week as it stands, you know, no more, no less. They want exactly what they want. And it really shows the tension that Morgan has with his inner self, with also his outer self with Richard. And mm -hmm. that Morgan wants nothing more than peace. But now, as we talked, about, I think, last episode and before that, we said on the channel that... Morgan has to realize he can't have peace in this world anymore. He has to fight for the things he cares about. And I'm not sure if he's actually going to do that or he's just snapped completely and he's, you know, back to his old ways where he has to clear. I think clear Morgan is, would take out every one of the saviors before he, they have a chance to. I don't know. I feel like it's like a Rick when he rages, but it's like more crazy and not like... He doesn't plan anything. He just goes up and starts killing. <laughs> but then again, you did see his base in season three, I believe, where he had all this, like, traps set up. And everything. Well, it's he had people before and then ended up dying, but... Yeah. And then eventually, as the episode progresses, we get more establishment of how the kingdom and how Ezekiel really feel with the saviors, and that it's not so much of acceptance, it's more of, like, resistance, that he hates living this life that... His people have to, they don't know behind closed doors. They don't know what's going on. And he hates the fact that he's so in this self-conflict towards yeah. the saviors that he has to get his people on board. And I guess the death of the child really shows that the saviors will kill anyone they want. As long as they get, you know, their share in uh, short terms. Whatever. And then as the you know, episode goes on and we are introduced into the... Resolvement that Morgan has, he ends up finding out that this was Richard's plan, and he has to think of a way to confront Richard as yeah. it progresses. But then again, remember when uh, Morgan, you know, punched Richard and just killed him right on the spot, and then told uh, the saviors that they are willing to follow, but as long as they keep peace. I, I don't know what I Morgan's think, thinking. I, I think that I think Morgan made a lie. So he wants to. I think he's thinking. Back to his clear moments, like if you build trust with these guys, when they have their trust and their guard down, that's where they're going to strike. And so I think what we saw was back when they when Morgan was first with Ezekiel, 
is the whole the whole like gun drawn scene is that the saviors are really stupid. Is that when in large groups they're very cocky, and by building their trust they have their guard down. If you saw that you know the kingdoms guys had their guns out before, the saviors did. In the in, in the one of the scenes, you know, like I think it was two episodes ago it happened. And I guess Morgan's picking up on the saviors are very lazy and they're very lacking on the yeah they, conflict. It part kind of, of goes it. back to where they uh, when Rick and their group took out that whole um, what is it called the outpost the outpost yes where they weren't just prepared they weren't like ready for somebody to fight everybody was sleeping and you know struggled. not so much as sleeping is that they're so they're they're on the top of the tippity crop mm-hmm. and. With that comes ignorance and bliss, because they think like, oh, we're the, we're the big game in the show. No one can take us down. Yeah, it kind of goes back to when Rick thought they like they were the big spot, where life was like kind of perfect and nothing can happen. But then you know, saviors came and destroyed that. And, yeah. And now, uh, Rick and their group are just gonna take that away from them and try to like tell them that life isn't perfect and you can't be arrogant. But it's what you build in the future that's gonna be better. So in the end, Mork confronts Carol and tells her the truth that Negan killed Abraham and Glenn, and he's killed others, and it sparks Carol, and but not like, dis- like, the- like disbelief that her friends are no longer there, and I guess it's now to the fact that she wants to fight now. So it's all preparing Ezekiel that if Carol's on board and Morgan's someone on board, that it's time to fight and it's time to join forces with the Hilltop. Alexandria and the kingdom because they have more manpower than the saviors do. The only thing that saviors have is guns. And people. But, and people. Well, the, the, I think they would have a little bit more people than. Well, it depends because I can see the inner conflicts too in the. In the in, um, I mean, remember yeah. that they have all those outposts too with different people, not just the main area that has that huge group of people. No, but I'm saying like the people inside within the saviors. You can see where there's resentment towards Negan. That the people yeah. who aren't with him in his little clique, they have resentment. So there, it can be possible, like, while Rick and the groups are fighting on the outside, there can be an internal conflict within the confines of their outposts and the actual main complex. But anyway, mm-hmm. uh, we're showing some small stuff in trailers in the next episode, which is more like a, the build-up to... The fight. The, you know... This is the rising action to the climax, pretty much, of the season. Three more episodes left. Well, that's six, but three, you know, I get... Let's see. <laughs> three, yeah. Three, that's, that's three. I can count from one to potato. <laughs> Just like how that guy counted the cups in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy our skits, our content, and uh, we will be getting some new content on the way. Indie games, gameplays, and be sure to check out our channel. Like, share, and subscribe. And, you know, enjoy the bloopers. It's not that much, but... Also, a very big thank you, you guys, for sticking this along with us. It means a lot. Goodbye. Oh, don't touch me. <laughs> Blue bash! <laughs> wow. You offer it. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight cups here. I wanted seven. That can't be. There's supposed to be only seven. Well, Not eight. I told you seven. That's one more than we needed. Looks like we're gonna have to just teach you a lesson. That'll do. Mmm. 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 That's it. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Stop, room. You're offering. Or is this your start? <laughs> well, not right now. You're offering seven cups. Except one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight cups here. See that cup? You drop it. Yeah, I dropped it. I got something on the table. <laughs> That's your offering. <laughs> <laughs> That's it.